My name's Nate, and welcome to another Photo Player Friday here at Outside the Vacuum. Today we're going to take a look at the percussion elements of the Style 15 Photo Player. More specifically, the manual percussion effects, the bass drum and cymbal, which are housed in the rear cabinet of this photo player. While I started working on these elements about a year ago, I thought I'd share the reassembly journey with you now. This is the bass drum for the Style 15. It's a 24 by 10. And at this point, only the hoops and wooden mounts are original to the photo player. For whatever reason, the original drum was swapped out. When I acquired the machine, it came with this 24 by 8 drum, which I didn't realize wasn't original until I noticed these mounting holes. I spoke with a couple other photo player owners, and the bass drums in their machines were 24 by 10. So I said goodbye to the incorrect shell and had this shell custom made. I sourced the proper tensioner hardware from various antique drums to make this look as original as possible. Now this was all last year, but it's time to finally put this drum where it belongs. First, I installed the drum backwards on the frame and then flipped it around for good measure. Well, I got it up there, but that was not fun. It's times like this I really wish I could drum up some help. With the drum in place, it's time to take a look at the cymbal arrangement. And of course, this is not the correct setup. All right, here are the original bass drum and cymbal beater for our style 15. The cymbal beater is uh, pretty well mutilated. It seems like almost Every part of this instrument has been changed in some way, and I am determined to make it look original. But luckily, I recently received the gift of these orphan photo player parts from a technician in a nearby state. And in this box was the correct cymbal beater, which is great because this would be a very difficult part for me to make. I've got an immediate use for this. This is great. Unfortunately, the cymbal beater is uh, pretty well mutilated. Here's what it's supposed to look like. Thankfully, we've got this either to swap out or at least to use as a guide. So I'll pull this beater from this framework and we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do. Well, at one point I thought about maybe just swapping this out, putting this in and putting that in the pile of despair. But now that I compare them side by side, I see they're from a a different run. There are quite a few differences between them, so I'm going to work to retain this. So right now I'm just going to try to get this dowel out. Nope, oh, not that easy. This may or probably may not work. Smells good. Ow, 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 ow. Got it. Mostly. Now looking at this bass drum beater assembly, I actually don't think this is original either. I see a pencil mark here that's not factory. And it looks like this handle or the stem is smaller diameter than maybe what was there. I also see some rough cutting here where maybe 
Maybe the original, the head was, was beat up or rotten or the stick broke. Who knows? I'm thinking somebody sawed off the old one and shoved this thing in there. Oh, it fits. Uh, oh, yeah. Wow. That's not original. Oof. Disappointment around every corner. But that's why we have eBay, not sponsored. <laughs> Next, I mounted the beater mounts back in the cabinet so I could get an idea where everything would align. This is the original stick and the donor, I don't know what to call this, the uh, Donor doinger. Doing. I'm just gonna put this in temporarily so we can see where things line up. Now we need a place to hang our symbol. This plywood symbol mount is definitely not original. I reached out to a friend who was working on a larger photo player that is much less mutilated than this one. He was very kind and made up this pattern for a wooden symbol mount out of a larger photo player. Thank you, Bruce. Okay, we've got the symbol mount. I think it turned out pretty nice for what it is. And a symbol. Now, I don't know if anybody can tell me, are symbols supposed to have grommets in them? Uh, probably not. I put one in there because it makes me feel better about myself and uh, we don't want this thing shorting out. All right, let's screw it to it. Okay, I think we're good. I'm going to mark the uh, locations to mount this bracket and then take the base drum back out. Okay, that was a near whoopsie. I forgot to check if this would fit where I thought it was going to go here with the pipes in. And now that I have the pipes in, well, it doesn't fit. Uh, but what I'm noticing is that this, this tuning, this, is that this has been cut off which tells me more likely this was actually down here. You can see if I slide it up, it's hitting. So I'm gonna mount it there. And that's actually looks more in line with my photographs when this thing was maybe more original. With that sorted, I removed the base drum and broke it down so I could rivet on the new symbol mount. It's all back together, all that work, just for this. Now to put it back in and uh, see if it fits. Okay, the drum's back in with the cymbal mount. Now we'll see if these pipes fit. They should. Should. the scary one. It's a tight squeeze, but it fits. With the drum and cymbal in place, I could move forward on the final assembly of the beaters. Okay, now I gotta get 
this onto here. But looking at the donor piece, I can see where they whittled it down. All right, there we go. It's a hit! That was a lot of work for just these two instruments, but I am really happy with how it turned out, and it's always rewarding to be able to put some orphan photo player parts back into service. Now, there is still a lot of work to complete on this machine to get it ready, mainly cosmetic work and work on the organ pipes. Which would you rather see? Please let me know in the comments. And if you'd like to see the full unboxing of these orphan photo player parts, you can find that on my Patreon page. If you want. No pressure. Doing. Mm -hmm. 